Good morning, YouTube. Uh, I woke up just a little while ago, as you can tell. I left my eyeliner on. Um, I weighed myself, and I'm going to do my whole check-in with Avatar. I'm going to measure myself and add up my weights throughout the week. And here they are. All these. I forgot to weigh myself this week, so I'm just divided by six instead of seven. And then I'm going to put it into my database and take some progress pictures and I'll let y'all know how that goes. Okay, so I'm done putting in my inputs for the week, which is here, week 13. I thought it was funny. Well, not funny, but this is why it's really good to track your progress, uh, especially with these, like, sleep issues, stress issues, whatever, whatever, because here, when I didn't drop much, I was having a good amount of, what is it, stress? I had a good amount of stress and that could have been a reason why I was um, not losing and then also here in this large jump from 119 to 115 my hunger issues were the most they've been here in the fourth column three and usually they've been two 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 three was a good one and that's about it so I had a I was super super hungry around this point and that's why I dropped so much because I was eating very, very little. But now I didn't drop too much. So we'll see what Avatar does for me. All right. It says weigh in now. Next weigh in now. Yay. I have to take my measurements. So I'll go ahead and do that. My weight for the average weight for the week was 115.6, I want to say. Yeah, 115.6. And then I usually like to do the body fat calculator and then uh, put in my body fat that way every time so 12 inches waist is 24. oh I already measured myself so 24 point Two five, if it even catches that, and hips, let me measure that. I inputted my measurements, 12, 24.25, 36. It estimated 22.7. Was I compliant with the previous week's macros low days high days and then it gives you a range because again you don't have to be super spot on depending on your goals but right now since i'm on prep it's my job to uh, take care of that uh so yes yeah, so are you within five days starting period no it's a really cool um feature they put they take your bloating into consideration so that they don't change your macros 
Would you like higher carbs and fats on certain days? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll check it. All right, here it is. You made some pretty good progress over the past seven days, Audrey, but not enough for the moderate fat loss setting, which is the one I'm on. To increase your rate of weight loss, we're going to reduce your macro targets for the upcoming week. Okay, cool. So my macros are lowered. So yeah. my macros are lowered this week to accommodate for my uh, weight loss setting, which is what I want. I have about eight weeks to lose the fat that I need to lose, and then the next two weeks is to get lean enough to experiment on my own body, see what works for me. Um, what I look best, whether it's like half depleted, fully depleted, uh, my refeed days, all that stuff. So it's confusing, but hopefully it'll work. Hello, YouTube. So I'm super excited about eating. I just got out of work and I tried this recipe yesterday for the first time because I found these at a... Um, H-E-B. So I was like, you know what? You try it out. People have been telling about it. Let's try it out. And then it turned out amazing. Okay, so I couldn't talk here, but I decided to do a voiceover to show you all what I had. I have 96.4 lean ground beef, tomato and basil sauce I got at my grocery store, some grilled chicken I got from work, and then my what, squash spirals, and veggies, broccoli and cauliflower mix. So... This is literally all my ingredients. So right here, I wanted to show you guys how they look when I take them out of the container. And whoops, I forgot to zero the scale. Anyway, so they're a little bit long when you take them out. So I just tore them up a little bit to make them more spaghetti like Okay, so I put my spirals in the pan and you literally, well, I just spray it with uh, my olive oil spray. Let me show you guys. Here. You can put actual olive oil, but uh, I don't like to wait my, waste my fats with that. So just spray some spray on top as needed and you just mix it around. Make sure every part of it gets heated up because it, it it makes it uh, softer, I guess, and like noodles. And you can see some of it is browning. That's okay. Just make sure to mix it up. Literally made this yesterday. I'm not a very uh, cooky person, but this was so easy. So you just mix it up, let it heat up, let it get soft. Get half a serving of ground beef to make like a, a meat sauce and then top it with chicken. Kind of like Olive Garden. You feel me? You feel me? So I have that, I'm gonna cook that, and then put a serving of veggies in my sauce. It's gonna be awesome, it's so easy, it's gonna be awesome, I love it. And I have my ground beef in the pan. I don't season it with much, I put pepper, black pepper, and mixed up salt. I don't know where I got this from, my parents had it. And then just regular salt. And then it's kinda just good on its own. I'm gonna cook the meat, and then Throw the veggies in there, and then the sauce, and then mix it around, it's gonna be great. And okay, you can pretty much cook it to the consistency you like, and uh, you can test it out, eat it, whatever. So this looks about the consistency I like. I haven't tried it, but I'm sure it'll be good. I'm just so excited to eat. 
Look, and it looks like pasta, like you can't even tell. Well, I, I mean, I guess you can, right? But whatever, it's gonna taste good. At this point, my ground beef is a little bit pink in some areas, but I think right there you can see. So that means it's almost done cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my veggies in here to heat them up, cook them as well. Give that a little bit more time to cook, and then throw in the tomato sauce. Okay, here it is. Tomato sauce. This is half a cup serving. Throw that in there. Probably gonna scrape up the bowl right now. That's what it looks like for me. Of course, you can add less veggies, uh, more tomato sauce, or whatever suits you're liking. But this was awesome for me and macros, right? finished product. Yum. I have a lot of protein here. Probably put some more spaghetti squash. Look at that. Mm, yum. Okay, I'm gonna eat. Can't wait. I hope y'all like this as much as I do because I'm so excited. Or I'm just a foodie in general. Foodie. Look at that. Oh, it's like spaghetti. If y'all try it, let me know if you like it. Let me know what twist you put on it because you can do a lot of stuff with pasta, right? Imagine this, low carb, love it.